Hey everybody, this is Good News with Deborah Paul. Welcome to Good News with Deborah Paul. I'm so happy that you're here with me. I know you're happy to be with me here today. I've got some good news. You know, in life, there is so much contradictions, debate, and bad news going on. So I'm here just to amplify and go dig in for that good news. Now, I make a whole lot of noise. I, I speak and I lift people up and I have inspiration and I celebrate. So when you see me, you see celebration and inspiration. So today, I wanna make some good news noise. I wanna make some noise to every COVID-19 recovery. If you have recovered, big up to you. Also, I wanna say to you today that our hearts are so with everyone that has lost a loved one within this COVID-19. I pray that God will comfort you in this very difficult time. Now, I wanna make some noise for Women's Month, every lady, every girl child. You made a girlfriend, I made it. You know what you've been through, I know what I've been through, but I'm here and you are here. There is a quote that says, um, behind every successful woman, there is a whole tribe of other successful women backing her up. So this is what we are doing. We are backing each other up. We don't have time for, you know, backbiting and being unkind. The only time we have is to pursue our purpose, be kind, and uplift your sister. Woohoo! Make some noise for the woman. Now for even bigger, greater good news. None other than the one and only, the Marius Franzmann. Woohoo! Welcome to Good News. Thanks how so much. Nice, nice. I'm, I'm like really enjoying just to listen how you've actually <laughs> articulated the fact that we must be positive. Yeah. You are COVID-19 recoverer. How, how is that process for you? Look, Deborah, let me say that if anyone asked me today uh, or the last couple of months, is this thing real? Yeah. As, it, it's, as real as it comes. Sure. It came like a thief at night, um, unexpected. And mm -hmm. let me say that I've traveled through Africa through five countries in March, came back, um, stayed in Cape Town for three days, then went to the Middle East um, to two countries. Sure. And on arrival back on the 21st of March, I remember on the 21st of March, Three days thereafter, I realized I was sick. It very unassuming. It quietly gets into your body. Yeah. It, it, it really just drain you. And then just poof, there it is. Sure. And I, I, was, I was four days in ICU. I was nine you or went ten ICU. days. Yeah, I was nine, ten days in hospital. And what was very interesting for mm. me is that when we literally, when I went to the doctor, first of all, our doctor said, please don't take anyone else to take you. Get into that car. You can't, for example, and then I went sure. to the hospital. But the irony of this thing is like, you know, we, we all been, we, we, we brought up as caring is when you are closer to people. That's it. In this case, I realized caring is as far as possible that you are from Yo. somebody else. So it's like completely different. So we, the doctors, the nurses, um, the health practitioners, I must say, if you, you use the word up you, I must say up, up yeah. you. Oh, they, yeah. they were just like amazing. Um, they also were not able to know how to deal with this thing. Yes. And, and, and then just then I realized it, it actually got to me that actually all that this thing is, it's they can just care. There is no cure. And I've gone through a very, very bad time in the, in the hospital in that period in the ICU. Out of it, I'm blessed. Uh, sure. A miracle. Yeah, yeah, God. Absolutely. And um, I, I, must say, I must thank Him, um, the Almighty, and I must thank those that cared in that yeah, process for, yeah. for us. So the message to everyone would be, the moment that you are positive, the moment that that happens, remember the words of the old people about Wilder Yes, about absolutely. Oh, planter, just yeah. do that. It because works. Because that is that it works, yes, right? Yes, it works. And then just allow the doctors to, to, to tell you what to do. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I've got a new life on that thing. Yo, I'm so glad mm. you're here with mm. us. But for me, with the COVID-19, the, the cruelest part of it is when you are ill, as mankind, we actually need that comfort yeah, yeah, and that yeah, closeness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to be arm's length, and that for me was yeah. just the most terrible. But, but on, on that thing, I must say, on that thing, I must say, 
Uh, the other day, one of my um, neighbor's mm. um, wife is now also COVID tested positive, and I was saying to that person, think about, I said it to myself, and I said to her, think about that feature when we were young. Yeah. And when, literally, when we were able to give the our, our loved pets food, because my children gave it like that to me. <laughs> they refused. <laughs> they refused. They basically, it was at the door. Yeah. You know, you, you bring a plate and they leave it there and there's no interaction. This is the so, one time they say you're on your own Yeah, you, yes, you're, <laughs> of your, yeah you're really on your own. Yeah, yeah, Yo, so, yeah, no, I'm so is, glad. Is I'm that, so yeah. glad you made it through. It we also had uh, um, a few uh, instances within our uh, mm. friends and family mm. and stuff like that. But coming back to you, Marius, I can call you Marius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we chat yeah, 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 as, yeah. as Chomis. So uh, Marius, Fransman, we know him at the, as this politician odd politician yo and um when we see you you yeah. are in a suit and you're mm. giving these powerful speeches mm -hmm. and you are you you also um you've been to uwc yeah, yeah. United, yeah. Uh, university of western yeah, cape yeah. an educator all of that mm. but who do you say who is marius Fransman? i'm still looking for him yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm still looking for him, don't worry. I'm a restless soul. No, look, I, I think it's, I am what I am. It's a person full of contradictions. Um, love humanity. Um, yeah. It's the deeper things in life that pull me. Uh, it's solidarity, it's humanity. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that we are because of others. Or it's, and I'm, I'm generally most pleased when I can help others. That's totally. The, that's, 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 that's what it is. And, so yeah, I, I kind of better part I'm seen as a hard political and that's what I what I used to be. I'm not a politician actively now. Yes. So and but I've I've gone into politics. I, I remember the story when we we grew up in Blackheath. So many people think I'm from the West Coast, but I'm not originally from there. I grew up in Blackheath, went to Varsity, and I couldn't understand when I was at Varsity, I was nineteen nineteen eighty nine, I think. Yeah. I started yeah, 87, sorry, 87, I finished my matric. So 88, I went to varsity. But in that last year at varsity, I couldn't understand why my peers, that was now my friends, yeah. that came from the Platteland, that came from Eastern Cape, from Northern Cape, etc., why they decided they will not go back. So I confronted them. Yeah. said, but you are the kind of the, you, 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 you stood out in society at school at your level. That's why you're at varsity now. Why are you not going back to plow back? That's right. What I didn't understand is there is no opportunities at that time mm -hmm. in the rural area. So I was actually just dumb in that space. Um, so I decided in 1991 that I will do something different, yeah. that I want to go to the rural areas. And that's why I landed in the West Coast. That's why I landed yeah, in the Yeah, because for me, what was really phenomenal, I read that a 26-year-old guy is... <laughs> 26 26-year-old, this was awesome for me is the mayor was the mayor then you were mm. the 26 year old yeah. at in Prindal, yeah. the mayor i mean at 26 do you even have enough to be a mayor do you, yeah. do you understand enough yeah. but you pull that off we were in the struggle so i was yeah. the head boy and src chair All bishop right. Lavers, yeah, yeah. cape town so when went to the west because i went because i wanted to understand the rural development so i think at a very young age yeah fortunately or unfortunately some of us were pulled so deep into the politics that we kind of miss the other issues, um, so we're right. very focused. And went to the West Coast, and then, yeah, just propel in leadership positions all over. So I think that, that that happened. And I was, obviously, before that, I was a deputy mayor. I was, And at that time, it was called the pre-interim stage. 94 happened. That's right. Then, then the, what they call the statutory side and the non-statutory side uh -huh. had to meet. Yeah. And, and that was before democratic local government. And I was, yeah, I was actually possibly 24 at that time. And then we then had to sit this side and the other side. Ironically, there's this one guy, Berti van der Zand. He subsequently was taken in prison and 16 years he was from the AWB. And he literally sat in those meetings with his guns on the table. What? Now you think about it, how you must engage <laughs> to say we need a non-racial society. But the point is, it was tough times. Of and course. I think it was that period that propelled some of us as young people to just to take up leadership yeah. positions. So, Marius, listen, I'm, I'm reading the news sometime in May. 
and I see these news headlines come on, and I read and I'm saying, Marius Fransman bringing Hollywood to South Africa. I was like, what? And then uh, owner of the Moja TV with the BRICS uh, channel, which is a news and, and information channel, which is a uh, digital form, yeah. platform, and that uh, just this reading this whole statement, I was like, wait, hold on, I need Mark to digest <laughs> this, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Los Angeles originated uh, Fight to Fame, and you guys are going to come and uh, stir up the whole combat sport tournaments to bring forth a new generation of action heroes. Come on, that needs some noise, man. Break it down, how did that happen? Yeah, I think it's. I think it's important to to, to explain your from po politics to that because I mean that that's transition. Possibly, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, in twenty sixteen, I was I was possibly what fifteen years already a provincial and national minister and served internationally and was doing all these other things. I wanted to come back to Cape Town in twenty fourteen. I actually stood up in a national executive committee of the African National Congress and said, "Look, I want to come back home." Yeah. Um, one, because we're in the position in the Western Cape, but two, we, I just want to serve the people because I knew I'm going to get another political deployment soon enough, um, but I wanted to understand, I just want to be back in Cape yeah. Town. And that was 2014. Unfortunately, in 2016, a very bad incident happened, and I was actually accused of sexual harassment. Um, it, it was one of the lowest times of wow. my life. Um, but in any case, parking that, so then a lot of, it had to do with a lot of politics in, in yeah. the organization. If you dull in the negative, your point. If you dull in the negative, you'll always That's go right. that way. So I didn't just realize, but look, there's this repository of knowledge and networks and yeah. engagement. So for Mojo Media started two years ago when I started an idea of how do you bring the small person with a big person? Um, when I small spoil, it can be in experience, in wealth, in, yeah. you know, in different, in, in expertise and so on. So we started this entity where we bring, where we just create a platform. We create a communications platform. And that platform is now global. Yeah. It's in Africa. It's, when I say global, it's not a multinational company because it started organically. So we have, we on, we, we've got, think about the world in this way, tricontinental. You've got Latin America, you've got Africa and you've got Asia. And that is kind of what they would define as the new, new BRICS environment. Okay. And, and the new, the developing world, right? So I've set up a unit that would coordinate that sp spaces through a satellite platform, as well as a TV platform, as well as a production platform. Awesome. So we can literally take this interview and I can guarantee you because sure. it's now it, it is now an interview with that, that I'm doing, so I can guarantee you it will be well played out in Russia. It will oh. be played out in Africa, and it will be played out in Latin America. I that is basically what so we are excited. able to do. Yeah, yeah. Just, just so, see the, the whole manifestation of yeah, this big vision. Yeah. Guys, please, keep your eyes open. Watch the space. Moja TV, Marius Fransman, Briggs TV, all of the stuff from... Uh, Marius is bringing Hollywood to Cape Town, and this is for real. So yeah, hundred percent. So back to the that's the how I was propelled into the Hollywood kind of discussions. It was a friend of mine, Marius. What fang you know? Yeah, mal. Did they hit you so hard in politics that you lost your marbles? Right. Okay. So this is it. Uh, my partner is. Um, um, Philip Diaz um, in, in Los Angeles. He's done many movies, yeah. um, 40 plus movies, distributed more than 200. And we basically, so Fight to Fame is the issue, the, the strategy behind Fight to Fame is think about it in this way Jet Li, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and all of them, they're retiring, they're getting old, they're getting off screen. So who is the next That's ones? And, and we're sitting in fourth industrial revolution period, we're sitting in fire, we're sitting in new technology, we're sitting in all of that. And if you look at the, and, and COVID brought this reality, the COVID brought the fact that whatever we thought yeah. can just collapse quickly. So mines had to close down, infrastructure, companies are closing down. So entertainment, film industry, digital technology is Absolutely. the future. So, so Fight to Fame tries to answer a very simple question. Deborah, who's the next generation of action movie heroes? So that's what it tries to answer. This is so, cool. so So we've identified four or five movies already, a movie between China and, 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 and um, Hollywood. Yeah. Um, 
then Jamie Foxx um, has signed oh, up yeah. for a movie. Um, Roy John Jr. that is now fighting Mike Tyson. I'd just like to have a small role with Jamie Foxx to say <laughs> hi. <laughs> Great stuff. So Jamie Foxx, uh, sorry, um, the other one is Roy John Jr. that is now fighting Mike Tyson. He's an ambassador for Fight to Fame. Yeah. So it's like lacking names if, you, if you've got it in that way. And the one movie that I'm very, very proud of that we will directly start uh, between us and um, um, Cinema Libre Studios is called um, Chain of Voices. Think about um, Andre P. Brink wrote a, a book called um, Cry the Beloved Country that mm -hmm. became a yes. movie. He also wrote a book called Hoden Beck. It's about the indigenous people. Sure. It's about the love story of a slave master's daughter falling in love with a slave. And Hoden Beck. And all that. Ah, <laughs> and Hoden Beck. And, the and they were all like started. Like in English, killed. Hoden Beck simply yeah, means yeah. Uh, shut your mouth. There you, you know? are, <laughs> Hoden Beck. So, so that's the story and we've decided that we're going to do that one. Okay. We're looking at a $50 million project. It's a mega, it's going to be a mega, mega Come project. On. And, and go just, big think, or go home. just think about that now. So that is that. So suddenly we've got the opportunity for talent. So the next process now is to find the talent. So the talent that we are trying to find is we're going to. So films is the one side. Reality TV show for, uh, for Fight to Fame is the other one. So think about what Idols is doing across the country. Yeah. Going into communities and searching that talent, that's what we'll be doing. Wow, that is and we'll awesome. take a selected number then into Hollywood productions, and then they will be playing in films. We've just signed a, a, a agreement. I don't know um, if you were born in the 80s, but in any case, no, we've just... No, I have been okay. born before that. <laughs> okay, so, I just look good. <laughs> so, so, so there was this, this guy, Don the Dragon Wilson. He was like a um, seven or 11 time kickboxing the world, action movie hero, etc. He's just signed with Moja Media Partnership. Wow. So we're going to have a discussion now with all the karate guys, all the, all the martial arts people, all the combat sport people to say, let's, we're going to do a dragon festival from Cape Town for the whole of Africa. Sure. That's next year. Signed and sealed already. Here. Yeah, so, <laughs> so then now we must go out and find these people. Yeah. And then the third element is combat sport. I didn't know this because I'm not into combat sport yeah. at all. Combat sport is the third, second largest, second fastest. Um, growing, growing sport sports, in Africa yeah. and then the last is the gaming industry and then it's the blockchain technology it's cryptocurrency and I had to take long because wow. you know the, there's this perception at times if people are dealing with digital stuff it can be Scams. there you are Ponzi scam it can be all of that so I had to take long I had to get a legal team to say because all the other stuff that we've just spoken about is is fine I mean yeah. like it's now mega stuff but, but now it's you're fine. talking money but now you're speaking money yeah. and so we had to go through that. It took three months to first to decide, get Good. into it. So I'm comfortable that it's a great opportunity. Uh, Bitcoin is real. Think about it. Ten years ago, um, people bought Bitcoin for 70 cents, seven cents in the dollar. There was an assumption that, um, and then for 10 years, there was negative news. But that same token's value is now nine, $9,500. So, so we are also having an FF token. We and and we have a hybrid between a crypto yeah. and traditional businesses. So okay. so we're talking about events at all the mega uh, places in South Africa. That is awesome. You know what? What for me really stands out with this whole fight to fame project mm. is just and like the this fact thing. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's like um, you know when you used to see uh, Jackie Chan, mm. Bruce Lee. Mm. Um, Chuck Norris. Mm. It's Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, watch yeah. it because it's out yeah, there. That's it. Now it's going to be down right here. Yeah. The, that is so amazing that you are being part of um, literally uh, wanting to groom people mm. into their purposes. It's going to, it's really going to give a, a new construction to the community. You and, know? And, and Deborah, the, just think about it. Us means our people yeah. are not getting that access. No. If you're not sitting in Johannesburg at times, or if you're not sitting, for example, at the very wealthy places, our people. And so think about what I said, why I started Moja. It was to basically connect the small with the very big. So I know we're going to disrupt the industry in the positive way, not in the disruptions, negative way. The good there disruptions, the good disruptions are good. In a positive yeah. way, we're going to disrupt because you mentioned the Jamie, Jamie Foxx story. We actually now ever say we possibly can play in some of those movies. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Wow. Otherwise, we wouldn't have. Um, we're trying to secure some of the big Hollywood stars for China Voices. Because, I, well, so. I mean, when mm. we talk about movies and film industry, we've worked for them. 
but it was so controlled and governed by others yeah, you know yeah, and we were just like yeah. doing the stuff at the bottom yeah. now i'm so proud of you that you are the owner of moja mm -hmm. team you know mm -hmm. and um you are also a husband and a father mm -hmm. And since it's Women's Month, and I'm always for the ladies, you know, mm. so um, the woman in your life, just give us a short description of her. First of all, let me say that I've got a family of three. Yeah. Um, my mother is the fourth person, meaning she's still with us. My father is not around and is late. And um, I've got a boy and a girl. Um, the one is matric, the other one is wow. grade nine now. Um, and um, they're doing very well. Um, awesome. My wife, um, Philida, she's kind of, we always, we used to have a firewall between the political life and family life. Yeah. Because politics is cruel, politics is cruel. Absolutely. So, but so, we're just but chatting so but, I can get to that. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> but, but, but that's also my love. Exactly. Politics is also my love because unless we are in the political realm, you can't always change the lives of our people. The fact that I can say that we've connected with these international processes mm -hmm. because of my history and politics. That's it's right. not as if it just marries mm. from black youth, historically grew up there and then went to the West Coast. It's not because of that. Mm -hmm. It's precisely because of, of the kind of path that one has, has, has gone. So, yeah, um, my wife, like entrepreneur herself, um, hair salons, beauty salons, Lovely. a few, not a lot. Uh, and now she, but like when, my one, my daughter was born. She decided to cut all of that and just make sure that um, they anchored um, in, in, I love in that. grounded oh, and anchored. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. a big job, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, just one attribute that you really adore about her: tranquility, is it? Uh, calmness, um, and no problem. Obviously, obviously, hardcore, um, but um, very, very, very amazing person. Wow. Um, yeah. What is her favorite dish or your favorite dish? That yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know if you know this. What? There's a thing called pahala. <laughs> Please, yeah. how okay. can I not know So that? I don't think there's anyone else that can make better bella than me. Really? Life. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, like, whether people come from an Indian culture or fishing <laughs> culture, I've tested so many uh, in terms of the way people take us out. Sure. For. No, yeah, so so it's that. Um, and I love, I love home food. I love home food. So I want to say big up to Mrs. Franz, one every woman that has been standing with your man, whatever you've been going through. I celebrate women, man. You've been through so much in life. <laughs> and you've been to so many pe uh, places. Mm. Do you have any regrets in life? No, I must admit no. But it was a challenging period and that was possibly that could have broken me. Mm. It didn't break me. Exactly. You know, me. you just went up and higher. Would you consider that as maybe one of the most devastating moments in your life? Yep, it was. Um, as I said, the, the thing that kept it is that I could see through it. That's the only thing. That that's that's what kept it. But but I think back to back to the the issue of devastation or not, it was church, and I'm not saying me as uh, grew up in the Catholic Church went with the youth groups in the in the Anglican, yeah. went to the Pentecostal churches. So I'm not necessarily bounded in the context of it is my church structure. Yeah. It is more, my, my, my late father said the church is in your, in your heart. You are the church. So, so, so I've gone through that and I think it was that that kept me. Yeah. It was the religious community and it was the indigenous people. Wow. It was the Koi the sun and the bushman and i mean like i never had that personal experiences with them um but it was literally in that that period they just like one man wrote a poem um on chint uh, he's from the northern cape he, he wrote a poem and he's close to the kalari community and he's saying that i didn't know him before that and that's in that way we connected and, support, eh? and this the irony is that 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 poem talked about this is now in 2016 he wrote the poem that said um Come hastu, meaning come and sit in the Kalahari, mm. uh, like send, uh, more a, a philosophical space, and go and tell the stories of Ons Mensa. Um, and when I asked him, was Ons Mensa? And his argument was, but 
you know, we now being seen as not black enough, we're not white enough. And it That's was a, right. it's, it kind of pulled me because remember, I come from an environment where I believe we're all black, um, African colored Indian. And then he tells the story. And in that poem, he tells the story about go out with the waters, go across the world and tell the story. And the irony is Almost like prophetic. Eh? That, that's the point. The <laughs> irony is we still around. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and it brings me to that where all things work together for your good. Yeah. And all things, not just meaning the good, but the bad that people might say. The wo Everything works to make you better, yeah. you know, to work you better. Yeah. Your most amazing moment. I've, I, had, I had a lot. Look, man, I, I, I must admit, I'm not a very amazing or not amazing <laughs> person. So I'm, I'm going to try that uh, to answer it. But I don't know. I mean, like, look, I've, I thought when I became the mayor that I was, and then yes, when then I was it gets then, better. And then, then, then etc. But I think it, I really just think is, and my teams know if it, I can pull people from the street and um, get people to work in environments and grow and 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 really what what drives me if you mm. want to know what drives me is to pull people through processes of of less to more that's what drives me yeah. but but one of the most amazing moments was to, when i met shigawara's family um, in cuba wow. um, one of my heroes in in, in life is shigawara um, he fought sure. um, moja just so that you know moja is derived from the word is a swahili name yeah um, called One or Unity, and when when Patrice Lumumba was killed um, in in the 60s, he became the head of of Congo through an election and was killed by the Belgians and the CIA. Then what happened was Che Guevara decided to leave his political office. He left his ministerial positions, and he went in to go and support Africa's um, independence. And he took, he went with quite a, a few Cubans and they went to battle with, on the side of the Congolese against the invaders. And he was light skinned, so he could not be the commander. So he was called Tatu, Tatu mm. means three. Yeah. So he was a real commander, but in the perception he was not. The person called General Victor Drecke, he, he became the commander and he was called Moja, his guerrilla name was Moja became Amil Cabral's mentor, so many other presidents' mentor. He's like my father in Cuba. And oh. he took me to the, the wife of Che Guevara. So when I was sitting with Shay's wife and his sure. daughters, and she was literally crying and telling me the story about, about this life and what he was about. So for me, that was possibly one of the most wow, defining moments. Man. In my I wasn't there, but it feels amazing. Yeah, it I could actually listen to you some more, you know. Mm. I want to know, with you achieving all of this, all of those great things and going through the dips and highs and because that's part of life. Who was your mentor? Politically or just generally? Just generally. I think you. my father. Yeah. I think my late father. I think it's it's the value systems and my mother. It, I think it's the value systems. Um, so I remember an incident in Blackheath when we grew up when my mother would, for example, have said, but why are we because I wanted to know why is the people of Happy Valley poor and why are we a little bit in a bit. <laughs> why must you be that you know, child? You know, you understand, you understand. So, and why do we have a TV and not? And then my mother said, oh, you want to now give the TVs and everything away. <laughs> so, 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 so I think my mother on the one side and my father on the other side, I think wow. that was grounding all of us in the family and we're strong people. Um, and then subsequently that it is in the political space, it was like people at the varsities and schools, wow. etc. So, yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite quote? As a realist, we dream the impossible. Oh. And that means we implement the impossible. We do things that ordinary people can't do. We push. It doesn't mean we're always succeeding. But you we, like me, we eh? Try. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so in, by the way, that is Che Guevara's. Um, he said that. So. Cheers to you. It was Thanks. awesome speaking to you. I could chat some more. Thank you. I just want to ask you a question, though, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. Um, are you still singing? Yes. I, I knew I'm going to get the old <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, can we agree I, I that? Still... Okay, we're going to agree that at some stage you're going to sing. And that's gonna that's the only this. reason why we. This. Okay. This is good news. <laughs> well, Deborah Paul, thank you guys for watching. Love, peace. Keep it real, pursue your purpose, enjoy life, life and love, love, peace, and the whole other thing.
Ich bin mir sicher, dass